Uh, so let's uh, go with our follow up question. Like, what mistakes mm-hmm. beginners should not make in interviews now? Like they are making, okay. and you find it very. Hey everyone, welcome to the 15th episode of our podcast series. So today we are going to have one of the most amazing guests out there. That is Gaurav, who is currently SD2 at Amazon. And yeah, Gaurav, you can introduce yourself. We have made certain points. Yeah. So thanks, Shitesh, uh, for the introduction. Uh, so my name is Gaurav, and I have total of nine plus years of industry experience now. Uh, and I have worked on different, like different tech stack and different companies also. And uh, yeah so that's basically about me so yeah so gaurav can you like uh, share your whole journey like how you reach so much power because nine years is something like a, a very amazing experience so yeah right. we are eager to hear your whole journey right so yeah i will definitely share so actually like i have started like i, I am 2013 batch pass out and uh, when i have started so at that point of time there was a there was a recession which came at 2008 because of that, there was some uh, like the companies were uh, very less hiring, and uh, when I reached Bangalore, so like I haven't placed in on campus, right? So I reached Bangalore for the off campus placements which were going at that time. So I am talking about the time uh, at at uh, uh, when there was no resources, right? Uh, the resources which I am saying is like there were no communication channels, right? Let's say currently we have Telegram, we have LinkedIn, we have YouTube channels, right? Uh, we have WhatsApp groups right? so there were no such uh, communication channels only uh, one resource which was uh, facebook right so that was there and there was a bgs a very pretty popular group bgs bangalore job seeker groups right right so that was the only source of truth uh, at the time so what we used to do is we we checked that group after 12 uh, like at the night right and there were some job posts let's say there are 10 job posts and they all uh, might be job like uh, you have to go and you have you have to reach that venue and then uh, your resume might get selected like you have to take the hard copy of resume right i'm talking about the walk in interviews so many people might not be aware of that situation so we have to go travel to that uh, location sometimes the the news is fake right because they have uh, they, uh, they have like put those news but there might be like uh, uh, some miscommunication right so sometime that happened but when when we reach there it's like a thousand or two thousand of people right and there your resume have to be selected uh via hard copy so what they used to do they took uh, some kind of aptitude test and with that they reject most of the peoples because they took uh, like they, they take the bar so high of the aptitude and reasoning only so that was the judging criteria at that point of time there was pretty less companies which used to see on like judge on the basis of data structures and algorithms and uh, those companies were like uh, i remember some of the companies like huawei was there at the time uh, that that were that was hiring for like walk-in interviews right but uh, at that time we were not that much skillful because the data structure resources were pretty less right so i'm talking about that scenario so you all must be like so much uh, what what i will say so much benefited with these kind of resources let's just also have this group right so so like you have this opportunity uh and that is kind of boon and that is kind of demerit also right because all of us now have the opportunity to learn opportunity to so so the competition is high right because all of us, us are having those resources right so i like coming back to my journey so uh i have got placed in uh, like as off campus in infosys and uh and there was like Masur campus where where there is like uh, six months of training, three to six months of training, and the training stream like uh, it it was kind of pretty good uh, structured training, right? Uh, there uh, you you got a chance to learn from Java to .NET, like all those tech stack, and that is pretty good, I will say. Uh, so that was kind of a pretty good learning step. But after that, uh, I I got this development center of Bangalore, but although I I got this training in .NET, okay, but but I was like pretty much uh, interested in Java and I got uh, the project also in .NET. So somehow like I was doing the job, but I was not pretty much happy because I need uh, to have the development in Java for it. So, uh, but also the develop there, there was less development. There was more of maintenance. So that was a reason for me to switch, right? That was a kind of a trigger point. So everyone have this this kind of trigger point, right? Uh, when they plan to switch. So I started. So there was I think lead code was not there at that time, definitely. So hacker rank was there. Techgeek.com, that website I know. 
so tagic.com and hackerrank.com these two were the pretty popular website at the time uh, which have those sorts of uh, programming uh, questions and uh, when you submit so test case run right so lead code was not there uh, so i practiced mostly on hackerrank at that time at that point of time and then i got a chance to uh, to give interview in british telecom uh, which was a uk based telecom company they were hiring for java especially java role and they were not uh, like going in depth uh, on your project right so uh, they mostly were concentrating on the core java skills and uh, the data structures somewhat it's not much somewhat so i have cracked that uh, because i was studying java in the background and i was also practicing uh, the coding right uh, the hands on skills so that was kind of a good jump because that is a product based company i got to learn like how the how the environment get changed right uh, the, the product based companies work differently as compared to the service based company so there i got to learn uh, i uh, got good hands on on java and uh, i got some good experience uh, i gained some good experience so i stayed there i think 2 years so after that uh, i thought like many companies are moving to cloud technology right and i was not getting hands on experience on the cloud because british telecom like at the time they were reluctant to use the cloud technology so that was another trigger point for me to switch again uh, and then i moved to ibm labs and they were uh, hiring basically for the ibm cloud right so i i knew like i will get uh, some good uh, like hands on on ibm cloud right cloud computing i will get in touch with that although like aws is the best in the market currently also at that time also uh, but even though i will get to learn some basics of cloud right so that's why i moved to ibm labs there and that is also ki- kind of a product based company that is also product based company only uh, mostly on the software uh, research side right so they are also a good exposure on uh, on on the tech stack and also pretty good people there like they are mostly concentrating on innovation so innovation like uh, whatever you do right you also think of some something innovative let's say if you are doing something daily basis but you don't know that that is kind of innov- innovative project product so those kind of thought process and there are good uh, like people and uh, i got to learn uh, most from the seniors there and then uh, like i stayed there for 3 years then uh, i was actually preparing for uh, the fang you say right so amazon always was the dream and i i'm uh, i'm not saying like i cracked that first attempt right this was the third attempt when i cracked amazon so i have already given two times and there was like face to face i i went to uh, one or two uh, development center of uh, amazon in bangalore only but i got rejected in i think second or third uh, i don't remember the round but yeah so that was kind of a like uh, face to f- uh, kind of a remote uh, remote setup when when i have given that and that of uh, that was because of covid and that time i have i cracked amazon and yeah so that was kind of a dream come true i would say uh and yeah uh, like preparation is not i would not say that is one year preparation two year preparation it was kind of a journey right uh, as 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 what i am saying i uh, i have tried two times earlier also right so it is not it is not something if you are not selected uh, you should be like again thinking back because it's your day when your day comes right then everything will would be right and if your day is not there then something or something won't work maybe the interviewer uh, maybe you haven't communicated well maybe the interviewer was rude or something like anything can happen right because i am also taking interview sometime uh, the mindset is not good right so so everything like anything can happen right so that's what like uh, my journey can teach you some perseverance and patience right because uh, currently Uh, every fresher wants to land in in amazon or google from their first like the first step right so that is also a good thing to dream uh, and that is also like uh, but if you are not able to get that you shouldn't lose patience maybe one year two year down the line you might get there yep there was uh, like a great journey like 9 years you got to infosys and you yeah. got to further more companies and finally you landed amazon sg2 you became amazon sg2 yeah so yeah so uh, i would like to ask you like uh, uh, what are the mistakes that you think beginners make in their resumes and mm-hmm. they should not make it what's your tip on it because since you have an industry experience as well as you are taking interviews so yeah you will be a very right fit to like give the tips yeah so in resume basically uh, what i saw recently is 
people are writing how many number of problems they have solved especially on lead code and right. uh, they have got this badges or something right that is not an achievement i would say achievement is let's say if you're leading a team uh, leading uh, an an event in your college right uh, you you are uh, you are basically a team leader and uh, basically uh, may, maybe you you have you have organized some uh, some maybe ngo event or something right why i'm saying is that because that will show your team skill right i i would i would be interested to hire you if you're a team player not just a single kind of a single line in, in the jungle right because i want to run a team and i i am always looking for a team player for my for my uh, for my team uh, i don't think any team will will hire a person who is very good only very good at coding and he doesn't communicate well right and he doesn't explain how the code is working and he doesn't explain to uh, other stakeholders uh, if if this logic if he have written this logic and why he have chosen the, this data structure why he he or she haven't chosen an, another data structure so if they are not able to explain that that is a big uh, flag red flag for me to hire this. so even if you are solving problems right uh, you sh- you should be also able to communicate those so that is like a a, a one a bad thing i saw in resume and uh, what others okay so uh, they nowadays uh, there are more like awareness on the open source right so let's say if you have contributed or if you have created your own like uh, something by your own right so showcase that uh, maybe if you have uploaded on github maybe anywhere else it showcase that that will be a good plus point uh, why i'm saying is uh, we are looking for a good hands on skill right so that will give you a plus point in your resume uh, what apart from that um, yeah i think those are the main things in from interns uh, or from freshers we are uh, we are basically looking and you should you should uh, you should be knowing everything whatever you write in your resume that is a that is the main thing let's see if you have added uh, n number of skills but you are only good at two skills so only add those that's that's fine yeah so let's uh, go with our follow up question like what mistakes mm-hmm. beginners should not make in interviews now like they are making okay. and you find it very yeah yeah so yeah again on the same thing let's say uh, I, i will talk about the coding interview so let's say if you got a, got any problem you should uh, you should not jump directly uh, on the approach you should ask some questions so let's say what is the size of uh, let let's say uh, how many elements it should accommodate if if we are talking about an array is given right and uh, if it is a any fixed size given uh, are those uh, like do they contain duplicate uh, are there negative elements also are there flat floating point like those sorts of uh, questions if you ask uh, then it it will give some impression on the interviewer uh, like you you are jotting down and you are uh, getting into the constant right so whenever you solve any lead, any lead code problem or any hacker wrong hacker wrong problem they give you the constant uh on the problem right on on the problem description only but when you go into the interview they will uh they will not uh, give you all the constants and they will keep it open so that you ask and then they will uh, like you both conclude like oh, oh, uh, these are the constants right so first is to ask questions then you jump to the solution which is the brute force one uh and you explain uh this is the brute force approach then try to make it more efficient by adding some data structure and then uh, finally add the uh, most efficient solution according to you then you try to uh, code it so that that sort sort of format you should follow in the coding interview basically now if we come to the uh, uh, basically let's say uh, uh, let's say project based or those sorts of questions right so then you should not lose your confidence that is the first thing like some people become nervous right so they forgot whatever they learned whatever they knew also they forgot so that happened to me also that's that's why i'm saying so uh, if if you if you are going in your first interview you should not be feeling nervous you should be confident enough whatever you know you sh- you you can tell uh, don't lie basically sometime lies is, is fine but if you if you told a bigger lie then it it will affect you basically right? so don't try to uh, lie in the interview and uh, whatever you know you can tell and if you don't know you can upfront tell that and you tell like if uh, if 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 there is some chance i would be uh, like i would be learning that and that's that's fine and uh, yeah so those are the basically the tips i would want to share
Yeah, I totally like one of your point. Like the person who is having very uh, is very high rated coder. He solved a lots of problems. I right. was not able to like tell his approach in the interviews because I have seen my right. friends who are a five star coder who are uh, very good coders, but they are not selected just because of their communication skills. They are not able right. to deliver what they are uh, like thinking in their mind. Right. Yeah, that's a very important. Like that is right. I've seen it. Right. right. Uh, so any like final advice like uh, on a generic note like uh, nowadays mm-hmm. you can see that recession is happening lots of companies mm-hmm. are firing companies have raised their bar so like in the present conditions what are your like final advice final tips that we'd like to give? yeah yeah sure so yeah uh, the situation was not great uh, from december or january uh, and uh, people got like layoff also and people lose their jobs but uh, from past one one and a half i think two months the situation is uh, getting better and better and the people who got laid off also they are rehired in the same organization that is also happening uh, you might not be able to see on the linkedin post uh, but those are getting rehired so that's what i am also uh, now uh, seeing like uh, we are getting a lot of job opportunities for freshers uh, less for freshers more for experienced so uh, i used to see like for two plus years of experience there are a lot of jobs now in the market so the advice is basically uh, yeah the the interview bar might be higher but it's not that higher uh, they people are still asking the same sort of uh, programming patterns that is still available there right so lead code experience uh, interview experience section is pretty good i would say but you should not be like only focusing on that uh, the, uh, there are different like geek geeks for geeks also provide the interview experience right so you can go there also check and uh, so there there is also uh, like interesting things coming uh, coming out to have some knowledge of on lld also if you are 2 plus of experience by lld i mean uh, the solid principles design patterns how you uh, how you format how you how you create a package let's right, say uh, by package i mean how you organize your classes interfaces if i talk about java basically and how you make the clean code like how you write clean code right so that uh, whatever code you write that should be extensible in future so uh, these resources like uh, solid principles and uh, these all uh, lld uh, you should be uh, having good knowledge now because that's what expectation for a two plus not on the hld i would say uh, mostly on this part uh, solid principle design patterns and lld right so that would be helpful and i also share like some posts on linkedin so maybe if you want to follow you can do that so yeah that's that are the advice basically uh thank you so much gorov like you uh, like uh, for giving us your precious time and like sharing all your experience like whole journey it was like amazing uh, like yeah. finally we can like it's like a motivation like finally we can reach anywhere we want if we just think about it we uh, like do proper homework for it right right, right. Thanks, Laura. Thanks.